Ellen and Cheryl parents say the school's response was clearly inadequate because the very next day there was another explosion. Tonight we learned federal authorities are involved in the investigation. The aftermath of the first incident captured on video. Students seen running through a hallway full of smoke. Tonight, parents demanding answers. We have kids that's coming to school to get an education. They cannot get an education if we got these other ones out here just trying to create havoc. Morgan Park High School officials say the Tuesday morning blast was the result of someone setting off fireworks. At least one student sent to the hospital for smoke inhalation. We immediately um, were in contact with our CPS safety and security office. We were immediately in contact with CPD. But the very next day it happened again. Another explosion in the hallway. Before the back to back blasts, parents say there were a series of incidents involving fire alarms being pulled. They have already showed you and proven it to you that they will do whatever they can get away with. Unless you deal with it on a severe basis, it's going to continue. It's not going to stop. As police investigate, administrators are considering more security staff and cameras. Tonight, parents say the school was slow in notifying them. Some wonder why the fireworks were not caught at the door. The x-ray machine is set to pick up metal. We can see through the bags. Um, but we don't necessarily know what each shape is. Federal ATF officials are involved in this investigation. Police say they've identified a person of interest, but at this time, no charges have been filed. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.